Okay, so when you open Serif, click on Start New Drawing. I'm just going to go with A4 Portrait now. I'm just going to show you some of the basic tools in Serif. So if you look on the left hand side, you've got the Pointer tool, Node tool, Pencil and Brush tools. These two are quite handy when drawing freehand. It does take a little bit of practice and patience, but they can look quite effective. Got a straight line tool. If you click on the little arrow, you get a few more options there. Uh, shape tool, also more shapes there. Artistic text and insert picture. So I'm just going to show you some basic, like really basic tools. So I'm going to insert a shape. I'm going to go with a rectangle. I'm going to insert it, make it as big as the page. If you go to on the right hand side and click on color, you should see this color wheel come up here. If you click on the fill color and um, Pick whatever whatever colour you want. Okay. And I'm going to use this tool here on the left hand side called the transparency tool. This is quite handy um, for adding transparency to different different ob objects and images. I quite like this tool. Um, looks quite effective. It's quite simple. We're then going to try using this tool. This is the artistic text tool. So if you click on that and then click where you want, you can just start writing. Write text as an example. I'm going to highlight that and change the font style to whatever font style uh, you like. You can then click on this tool um, on the left hand side called the envelope tool. This is quite an interesting tool for adding direction to your text. You can have a little play around with different shapes and directions there. It can be quite effective. Another way to add text is to use the stencils. If you go to the right hand side, go to stencils, and drag one of those in. You can change the size to whatever you like. You can use the brush tool. Go to the top here, you can change the style of the brush, colour of the brush, the width of the brush. I'm just going to use the one that's selected at the moment. And then I'm just going to draw on top. It looks like nothing's coming up until you click off it. looks a little bit messy but then once you click on that and take the stencil away it can be quite an effective uh, way to add text and so then you can rotate and whatever have it any way you like okay so that's some of the basic tools in Serif